So guys, I showed you in the previous video how to do a link audit and identify toxic links. Obviously, you've got to deal with those toxic links in the form of disavow. Now, Google will tell you in most cases that they may just simply ignore this garbage because it's just trash and they know it's trash and, and it won't harm your website. However, I would never leave that to, to chance. Now, a lot of people say, do you even disavow it? As I say, Google say you don't have to. But in the past, I had someone do this to me and I actually got a partial penalty from Google even though they claimed that this didn't happen. So I think, in my opinion, it's good housekeeping to basically clean this stuff up and do a disavow anyway. So I've seen positive results from it. I know there's much debate on whether that information is accurate or not. Um, but for me, I want to make sure that there is no stone left unturned and I will be disavowing any garbage that points to, to any of the, the websites that I've got. Now, as I say, SEMrush is my preferred choice of tool when doing a link audit. Now, simply what you can do here is go through the links and you can tick them off one by one in terms of what you feel is important to disavow. Now, sometimes because SEMrush says that it's toxic doesn't mean it is the case. You've got to use your common sense and go through these and you decide which ones you want to remove. Now, I'm going to remove ones that are simply not me, the ones that are spammy, the ones that don't have the proper anchor text. And you can basically go through and tick these one by one, or you can select them all and then just click move to disavow. Now, moving that to disavow basically means that you're moving that over to the disavow file. Now, again, you just keep going through this list time and time again, uh, until you have basically disavowed all the garbage that you want. Then you go over to your actual disavow file, which I'll show you, which is here, and you will be able to see all of the garbage that's in there, and you can export that as a TXT file and simply upload that to Google. And I'll show you where to in a moment. Now, personally, I don't have the time to be sitting going through that and I don't really want to do that. There are people out there who can do that for you. You can make a process documenting how it's done and it's as simple as what I've said there. Go over, tick the ones, move the disavow and then go to the disavow section and export that to a TXT file. Now, it seems really easy, but if you're busy or you can't be bothered doing that work, you can delegate that out to someone else. It's not the hardest task in the world. Now. There are a number of different tools out there, such as link research tools, which are is a really good tool for people to clean up when they're getting spammed to death. Now, again, that tool costs money. I can't be bothered doing the whole process. So there's people out there who've got these tools who do that process for me. And I've got a guy, Rick Lomas, who most, most recently done the disavow file for me. And here's Rick's email back. So he's given me his suggested disavow file, a video explanation. He's given me the spreadsheet with all the information on it. He's basically shown me the new disavow tool on Google, which you can go to here, select your property, and then upload that file. Job done. So he's basically said here, he will also schedule a link detox boost to run in 40 hours time after me submitting that to Google. So doing a disavow really is simple and easy. You can get guys like Rick Lomas to do it for you if you simply don't have enough time to do it yourself or you want to delegate something like that out. It is tedious work. It can be a pain in the backside and especially when you've got, I think, 12,000 to go through. Um, so that is why it's important to keep on top of that. So I've sat on this for a couple of months and not been cleaning it up. And I've now basically had to get Rick to go through and do all of that for me. Now, you can do it yourself. There's no problem at all with doing it yourself. If you do do a disavow file, make sure that you do double check that you're not disavowing websites that are actually passing you power. Just take the time to go through it properly um, because I've not got the most patience in the world. That's why I give it to Rick and uh, you know, I'd end up disavowing things that were actually helping my website. So make sure 
that you do go through it with a fine tooth comb, upload that disavow file, and that will allow you to deal with any of the garbage that's pointing to that website. And in a lot of cases, you will inherit websites that do have trash links pointing to them, and you want to probably clean that up as part of your auditing process so that when you are doing work on that client's website, they've got every chance of success.